Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This video is about the Corona generator, uh, taken from Mr. Chapman's book, and here we'll be discussing example 4.6 uh, from the fifth edition, and same example uh, is uh, given by the name 5.6 in the fourth edition of the book. Before we start, let's just recall this is the prime mover connected with the generator. The two graphs that will be discussed, this is the speed versus power, uh, power curve. And you can see this is the power line, power uh, generated or, or power of the load. And this is speed of the prime mover. So this graph is also called droop curve. As the power demand increases, the no load speed of the generator or the prime mover will reduce. And if you just compare this, because they are connected, therefore the, the same graph applies. The only change here, in case of a generator, instead of speed, now we'll be talking of frequency. So as the load increases, the frequency will also decrease from no load to uh, a full load value. So this point we have to keep in mind while discussing the uh, question that we're going to solve. Governor uh, is attached with every generator and this has uh, various parameters to control. Uh, main that we are concerned is the speed or uh, frequency which can be controlled with the generator or this is called the uh, setting of the generator set point. Now, just uh, to give an idea, in a hydro turbine, this generator controls the flow of water to control the speed of the prime mover. And in steam turbine, it controls the uh, steam flow. And in the combustion engine, it controls the fuel flow in the generator to increase or decrease the shaft speed and consequently the generator frequency. Now, the question. Figure 438 shows two generators supplying a load. So these are the two generators supplying one load. Generator 1 has no load frequency of 61.5 Hz and a slope SP of 1 megawatt per Hz. Now let's see this diagram. This is called the house diagram and showed uh, the given in the book. So this is for generator 1. The starting frequency or no load frequency is 61.5 Hertz. And the slope of the line is 1 megawatt per Hertz. This is the slope of the line. Generator 2 has no load frequency of 61 Hertz and slope of 1 megawatt per Hertz. Now, here it is given 60, which is a mistake. So I have corrected it. It, it should be 61 Hertz. And the slope is same, 1 megawatt per hertz. The two generators are supplying a real load of 2.5 megawatts, a 2.5 megawatt load here. And this is shared by the two generators. The resulting power system or house diagram is shown here. Okay, now before we go, I'll, uh, uh, um, I found one video from electrical easy which is very helpful and they have approached taken a different approach so i'll follow that approach uh, we'll take first of all the generator one and then we flip this so we flip it so this the generator one diagram similarly for generator two this diagram will also flip okay now we'll use these two diagrams First, let's take this diagram. What we have done now is that at the maximum load, which is 2.5 kilowatt that uh, this question is saying, we have drawn another frequency line for generator two. And we will plot this diagram at this point. But before that, I'm just using two different colors uh, so we do not mix up. So for the generator one um, slope, I'm using blue color. And for the generator two, I'm using green color. So this is the total load 2.5 shared by generator one and generator two. And 
the lines where they touch or enter across this will be the system frequency line so we'll see how it is now there are three parts of the questions given i'll not discuss it here but we'll do, discuss one by one as we go ahead now two more points uh, uh, that is the power produced equation this equation we had, i had discussed in the previous video uh, i'll give the link of the video also and also this is given in the book i think it is equation 4.6 so we'll be using these two uh, equations. Uh, it is kind of a similar to y is equal to mx, uh, where m the slope in this case is the inverse slope. So power, this power line is uh, the slope and the frequency relation here. And we also know that the total power or the total load will be shared by generator 1 and generator 2, P1 and P2. P1 uh, load sharing by generator 1 and P2 by generator 2. Now let's come to part A of the question. At what frequency is the system operating? So that is the first question. What is the system frequency? And how much power is supplied by each of the two generators? So that is the second part. We have to calculate P1 and P2. So we straight away go to the formula that we know that P load is P1 plus P2, putting in the formula for P1 and P2 and plugging in the values. The 2.5 is the total load slope, 1 megawatt per hertz in both cases. F no load is 61.5 from here. And in the second case, F no load is 61 hertz. And this solving. And further solving, we can find F system to be 60 hertz. So this frequency is 60 hertz. So this is the system frequency in this case. Now the power supplied by generator 1 and generator 2 will again use the power formula. So for power 1, this was the formula. Now that we know the system frequency 60 hertz, we'll plug in that. So P1 is 1.5 megawatt. So P1 is supplying 1.5 megawatt. P1 means generator 1. And similarly, from this formula, power supplied by generator 2 is 1 megawatt. So you can see the sum of the two is the total load 2.5 megawatt they are supplying. Now we come to part B. Suppose an additional 1 megawatt load were attached to this power. So this instead of 2.5 is now 3.5. So the first thing we'll do is in this diagram, we'll move the endpoint to 3.5 megawatt. megawatt. So this line for generator 2, we have moved to 3.5. The slope remains same and the slope starting point, that is the no load point remains same. And the new intersection point will be the new frequency or the system frequency. Earlier it was 60, now we'll have to calculate this. We follow exactly the same technique, except that the total power, this total power has increased. So it's now 3.5. And putting all the same values, we calculate the new system frequency. And the new system frequency will be 59.5 hertz. So when we increase the load, the frequency dropped. That is what we have been discussing. So the frequency has dropped to 59.5. Now in many cases, this drop of 0.5 hertz may not be acceptable. So what we have to do, we'll see in the next slide. Okay, uh, so the frequency is uh, 59.5. Now let's calculate the load sharing by generator 1 and generator 2. The same formula using generator 1 is now sharing 2 megawatt of load. So 2 megawatt and the generator 2 
will be sharing 1.5 megawatt of load. So 3.5 is now been shared by uh, these two generators. P1 is uh, uh, sharing more power than uh, P2. And in third case, with the system configuration described in part B, that's when the power, etc., remaining same, what will the system frequency and generator power be if the generator set point on G2 is increased by 0 0.5 hertz? So you remember the uh, diagram for the governor in that we'll increase the speed of generator 2 and that will increase the frequency of uh, the generator 2 by 0 0.5 that means instead of 61 hertz, now it will be 61.5 hertz. So the slope line, there will be a new slope line, we'll draw, it will just parallel with the earlier line, green line. But this is the red one is the new slope line. And wherever the touch will be the new of frequency, which will be in between two, in between these two. So we have to calculate. And the this line now, will be the dividing line for the power one and power two. Okay, so 3.5, this frequency 61.5, the second one is also 61.5. So the system frequency is now 59.75, and it is in between these two, so 59.75, uh, is uh, uh, acceptable, it is very close to 60 so for the system, so this is fine. And what is the effect of this now on the load? So let's find out P1, putting in the values, P1 is 175 megawatt, so this is sharing 175 megawatt, and P2 is also sharing 175 megawatt. So now both the generators are equally sharing the load, uh, which is beneficial. No one is overloading, and this is good for their uh, life. I hope you have been able to follow and you have learned the technique as to how you can adjust the power paid by the two generators. Please let me know through your comments and share and like the video. Thank you.